Investing just $10,000 into the Schwab US Dividend Equity TF or SCHD and earning $10,000 plus in dividends per year seems impossible. But because of the fact that dividend growth ETFs like SCHD offer substantial dividend growth at least half historically, makes investing a relatively small amount of money in ETFs like this very rewarding because the potential of the outcome could be huge. Now in this video, I'm going to share with you exactly what a relatively small investment into a beast of a dividend growth ETF like this one could turn into long term. So if you would consider yourself a long term investor that doesn't have all that much money to start, make sure to please stick around to the end, drop a like down below and let's get right into it. I just finished my brand new dividend investing ebook where I share exactly how I went from zero to now over seven figures invested and also on how I earn more than $6,000 per month in dividends. I also finished my custom dividend tracker that you can use to track your dividend income progress on an ongoing basis. So make sure to grab yourself a copy of my dividend investing ebook and the new dividend tracker today. It's the first link in my description. So first of all, just to back up for a second, what is SCHD? or what is the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF? So SEHD is a really popular dividend growth ETF across the dividend investing community for multiple different reasons. The objective of the ETF is pretty simple. It's to track as closely as possible before fees and expenses the total return of the Dow Jones US Dividend 100 Index, which is an index with a rock solid methodology, and I've talked about it in depth in previous videos. Now some highlights, a straightforward low cost fund offering potential tax efficiency. The fund can also serve as part of the core or complement in a diversified portfolio. Now also SCHD tracks an index focus on quality and sustainability of dividends, which are going to be crucial, especially if you have a dream of using your dividends later on in life to pay for your bills or other things. On top of that, this ETF has a super cheap expense ratio at just 0.06%, so it's not going to cost an arm and a leg to hold long term. And this is especially important if you choose to build out a, a large position over the years. Now, even though SCHD does track an index that has a rock solid methodology, and also this ETF has a super cheap expense ratio, relatively speaking, along with the fact that this ETF has basically traded up and to the right since the inception of it. The main topic in this video that we're talking about is the fact that you can turn a relatively small amount of cash into a boatload of dividend income later on down the line. Now, the only reason that this is possible is because SCHD, for example, and side note, there are other ETFs across the market that also offer this, of course, but SCHD long term, at least, has offered substantial dividend growth historically. Now, dividend growth is basically how much in dividends an asset pays relative to the previous year. So just to give a very simple example, in December of 2013, which is more or less 10 years ago, SEHD paid 25 cents per share per quarter, which if we fast forward 10 years later, the same ETF is paying those same investors, if they were still invested, of course, 74, let's just call it 75 cents per share per quarter, 10 years later in December. So from December 2013's 25 cent or a quarter dividend payouts up until this previous December's almost 75 cent payouts, that is three times as much dividend income for every single share of SHG that you own. So let's say just in theory that investors back then owned 10 shares of SHG. Let's say they own 20 shares, 100 shares, 1,000 shares. They would not only be getting paid double the amount of dividend income 10 years later, which of course 10 years down the line is not that long if you're looking to be a buy and hold forever investor. But those investors will be getting precisely three times as much dividend income for every single share that they own. Now just using some basic math, you can see exactly what I'm trying to get at here. Why investing a small amount of money into an ETF or of course a stock that offers, at least historically offers, dividend growth, if you are looking, if you are solving for dividends later on down the line, could be extremely, extremely helpful. So now that we talked about SCHD, we explained what this ETF is, why it's a potential good ETF to invest into if you are looking to build a portfolio that offers substantial dividend growth, at least has historically. I want to show you exactly how an investor investing just $10,000, which again, in the grand scheme of investing is not that much money, could turn this $10,000 investment into much greater than $10,000 per year in dividends. So in the dividend calculator, we are going to have a starting principle of $10,000, which is the complete amount invested. We're going to have a 3.4% initial annual dividend yield, which is somewhere around where SCHD offers. Now, on top of that, we are going to have an expected annual dividend amount increase of around 8%. Now, there's been times where SCHG has grown their dividend much, much faster than this and times where it's grown it a little bit slower. So just to be sort of fair, let's go with 8%. On top of that, expected annual share price appreciation, 4%. It's hard to say exactly what's going to happen in the future when it comes to the share price or, or of course, expected annual dividend amount increase, but we're just going off estimations here. The distribution frequency will be quarterly and dividend reinvestment or drip will be turned on. So this means that all the dividends paid a long time are going to be reinvested into the portfolio, which is going to create a massive component effect 
all along while the dividend growth is going to consistently make you more money down the road. So the numbers are in, and this is how it's going to look, guys. A $10,000 investment into SHD year number one is going to earn around $344 in dividends. And this is per year, so not all that much dividend income, nothing all that significant. But again, if you reinvest those dividends and let the dividend growth happen, this investor is already up to $384 per year in dividends. Again, not all that much, but we're not really working with too much here either. By 10 years down the road, just with a portfolio that has $10,000 invested into it, the portfolio would double and you're almost earning $1,000 per year in dividends. Still nothing super substantial, but as time goes on, the power of compounding is going to kick in overdrive and you're going to see these numbers get bigger and bigger. So 20 years down the road, now the portfolio that started off with $10,000 is now worth over $51,000 and earning north of $3,600 per year in dividends. So now at this point, this dividend income is starting to ramp up and for every single year here on forward, the numbers are going to get bigger substantially. By year number 25, the portfolio is almost at $90,000. Remember, started with 10K and no other contributions into the portfolio. Just basically letting the portfolio reinvest all the dividends and do its thing. In year number 25, we're talking $7,800 per year in dividends. By year number 27, this portfolio would now be at $113,000 plus and over $10,000 per year in dividends. All that started off with a $10,000 principal investment and just reinvesting the dividends along the way. By 30 years in, this portfolio would be at $167,000 and over $17,000 per year in dividends. So this just proves that at least going off of historical numbers, there's no excuse that really anyone can't build a compounding machine of a portfolio, even if their entire investment amount is $10,000. Now, of course, just for some fun and for some inspiration, if the portfolio would have started at, let's say, $100,000, then we're talking a lot, lot more. We're talking $3,400 per year in dividends year number one. By 10 years down the road, we're at $200,000 in principal and almost $10,000 per year in dividends. If we started with $100,000, this portfolio, 30 years in, would be at $1.6, $1.7 million and $176,000 per year in dividends. Now we get it, $100,000 isn't necessarily all that obtainable to start a portfolio with, but it still goes to show that just with a relatively small amount of money, if you invest in something that has substantial dividend growth, the power of compounding will work very, very hard for you. So there we have it guys, just past 20 years down the road, an investment portfolio that just started off with $10,000. Invest into something like SHD would then be able to pay an investor somewhere much north of $10,000 per year in dividends. Now, because investing is such a personal journey, different investors are going to have different amounts to start off with. But regardless, I hope that I proved or at least sent a spark to you and showed you that a relatively small amount of money could turn into a bolo later down the line. But lastly, now I want to hear from you guys down below. When it comes to building out a long-term buy and hold forever portfolio, what are some of your favorite stocks or ETFs that you're currently buying? Drop them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like in it and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by. And if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.